So we're now going to move on to uh, the password recovery process for uh, a user that's forgotten their password. Um, now obviously this doesn't work in the same way as the username and it can't do and the reason for that is that we're actually um, hashing or encrypting the user's password. So if we go over to our database table you can see that the password is an MD5 hash of a plain text um, string that the user enters as their password. Now the problem here is if we were to go and say say to a user in the same method that we used for the um, here we grab the user data if we for example said password this would just deliver an MD5 hash to them and we can't obviously decrypt it it's a one way algorithm um, unless we brute force it but that would be silly you know we need some other way to do this and the way um, to you know recover a password is to first of all give the user a new password so reset their password now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down the easy route just for the purpose of this tutorial and I'm going to generate a password myself assign it to that user encrypt that password and then force them to change their password the next time they log in so we need to do a few things here but it's not actually that difficult it's just you know we're just being clever about things so the first thing to do is actually um, uh, in terms of this here well we don't really need to do anything because we've got if mode equals password recover password and in fact the first thing I'm going to do is uh, generate a new password for the user now I'm not really going to be creative here um, I'm basically um, just going to use a not a clever trick but just a, a couple of things just to generate a password so what I'm going to do is I am going to say um, generated underscore password is equal to I'm going to use the rand function and this generates a random number between a specific set of numbers so I'm going to say between 999 and 999999 and then I'm gonna hash this that's nothing to do with hashing their password for them to use but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say substring starting from in uh, the point zero so the first character and I'm gonna chop off the first 14 so what we're left with here is a number between 999 and 999999 hashed and then the first 14 characters of that hash in fact no let's let's not be silly let's make it um, eight characters so a user can actually doesn't have to type in 14 characters and this this is you know not strong but it's relatively strong because it's random it's a completely random value and uh, well not completely random but you know what I mean so I'm going to just go ahead and die and pass through the generated password just so we can see how this looks. So let's go over and click on password. I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address and click recover. And there we go. That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and just refresh again and refresh again. And you see that this is a new password generated for a user. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've got this randomly generated password, we need to give assign this to the user. Now, we already have the update user function here, and we can actually take advantage of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, sorry, no. Um, I'm not going to use the update user function. I'm going to use the change password function uh, that we created for actually allowing the user to change their password but this time we're going to set it to something that we want it to be set to and that's what we've generated so using the change password function let me just go ahead and copy this and scroll up I'm going to change a user's password now what's the user ID we need to grab the user ID so in here I'm going to go ahead I'm going to say user ID and here I'm going to say user data user ID okay and what I'm going to change this to well, I'm going to change this to generated password so just to clarify we're grabbing the user ID anyway 
um, if the mode's password, which it is in this case, we're generating a password, then we're changing the password to the user's ID that we've taken from here based on their email address, and then we're changing their password to a generated password. Okay? Done. Done and dusted. So now what we want to do is actually email them and say, hey, this is your new password, log in with this new password, and then after that we'll force them to change it. So let's go ahead and just copy what we've done here with this email just to save a bit of time, why not, and paste that in there. So I'm going to say your password recovery. So um, I'm going to say hello Alex or hello first name, your new password is something, a couple of lines down I'm going to say please log in to change this, actually no, let's just leave that bit out. Um, so obviously we're not passing through the username this time, we're passing through the generated password. So let's go and give this a whirl. Um, we're changing the password, emailing me the password, uh, emailing me the new password, and then when I log in, uh, nothing's going to happen. But I'll uh, we'll, we'll sort that out in a moment. So um, I am going to assume I've forgotten the username or the password for um, Billy at PHP Academy. Let's just pretend I'm Billy. So I'm going to click on Recover. And there we go, thanks, we've emailed you. So assuming that I've written everything correctly, let's go over to our email. And we should have an email, your password recovery. Click on this. So your new password is this. Let's go over to the database and just uh, remember both these passwords are the, equal, uh, are the hashed version of the plain text password, actually the string password. So they both start with 5F4, blah, 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 and then end with CF99. So if I click browse, you'll now see that the uh, password here has changed. And this is the hashed version of um, the password that I generated for this user. So now this is the new password. So we go through the same process of entering this. This is technically the plain text password. When I paste it into here, when I log in, so Billy paste, this is then encrypted to MD5, um, an MD5 hash compared to this, if it's, tr if it's equal, then we log ourselves in and there we go we're done we're logged in we've recovered our password and now we have this password now the problem here is um, we actually are just allowing the user to have this generated password and most people would much prefer to force a user to actually change their password once this generated password has been sent to them so in the next part of the video we are going to be actually forcing this user to change their password one, when they log in for the first time um, and, uh, and, and, and it forces them off to the change password page.